Oh, oh yeah, uh, Australia's gone like full fussy. It's pretty nuts. They put down rescue dogs. They're basically PETA. Australia's going like full on authoritarian. And it is creepy as shit what they're doing. Um, but let, let me play this video for you guys, okay? This is like, I don't, I don't even know how to fucking describe it, but like people make that fucking 1984 joke all the time, right? Or like they say like, oh, it's just like 1984. Like this feels like fucking 1984. Holy shit. I feel so sorry for anybody that's in Australia right now. Good fucking luck. You're fucked though. Driving our record case numbers. Among the most concerning cases, a COVID patient who's tonight on the run from a hotspot. Police and health authorities have issued an urgent appeal. Anthony Caram knows he is COVID positive when he steps into this public lift. Already breaking so many rules, he doesn't bother to cover his mouth as he sneezes and splutters. The 27-year-old is still infectious, but has gone missing from his Wentworth Point apartment. This is a news story. This is a news story about someone breaking quarantine. And I'm like... They're, they're doing like a fucking manhunt for the guy. What the fuck? This is this. This shit's like fucking nuts. Jesus. But let it keep let keep keep listening. Now issued for his arrest. This 27 year old chap who apparently has expressed the view that he doesn't care less whether he spreads the virus is one example of the worst of the worst. There's little sympathy for anyone ignoring the health orders. Even this group of teenagers caught partying after dark at the bottom of the North Bondi Cliffs. Herded to higher ground by Polair's spotlight and speaker, the eight boys will... Like, I, I, I'm blown away by this. They're, they're fucking outside. They're friends. Australia has, like, uh, fucking tests and everything, right? Like... But what the fuck is this shit? They're young kids. Let them do it. Holy fuck. Like, look at, look at how they're fucking reacting to this shit. Those who break the rules. Nobody likes those who break the rules. Nobody feels sympathy for those who break the rules. Like, they got a fucking whole team of fucking cops out here to arrest eight people for chilling at fucking night in the open. Placed in handcuffs and left to explain a thousand dollar fine to mum. Uh, 681 penalty infringement notices issued in the last 24 hours. More than 400 of those notices were again for people being outside of their home without a reasonable excuse. Sideline. Outside of your home without a reasonable excuse. Guys, 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 don't be outside your home without a reasonable excuse. Sharks player Josh Dugan denies lying to police when he was found a long way from Sydney. The 31-year-old stopped at 11.30 last night in Lithgow, where he allegedly told officers he was moving to the area and feeding animals before admitting to visiting a friend. Guys, come on. Look at that. Look at that. They... they, they... Fucking, he got stopped by the cops wanting to know why he was out. Jesus, man. This, like, that's his crime, everybody. And look, he admitted to visiting a friend. Like, I, I mean, I, I it's it, like, it's possible. Maybe he was moving to the area. Maybe that was just bullshit. But like, if his friend lives in the area, maybe that's why he was considering moving to the area. But like, so what if he went to go visit his fucking friend? Jesus, this is... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like like I, the, the 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 creepy thing is there are people that want to do this shit over here right there are people that want our country to be run this way right because they're so terrified of this fucking virus like don't get me wrong i i get it i understand why it's serious and everything but it, it's not worth all of this he and a passenger turned back to Sydney only to be pulled over a second time travelling in the wrong direction. The NRL is investigating and criminal charges could be laid. It's They're going to charge him with a crime! 
Guys, guys, they're going to charge him with a fucking crime. Holy shit. Getting harder and harder to hide if you're doing the wrong thing. Doing the wrong thing. in the construction industry. A crackdown following on from the recent shutdown. Workers sent home if their paperwork isn't in check. It is a struggle, but it's, um, you know, it's just what has to be done. Like, nobody likes telling people to go home. They've all got families to feed. Our camera's rolling on another random blitz in Marsden Park. Authorising me under the Public Health Act. Inspectors have asked these tradesmen to show proof of their QR check-in, as well as identification and vaccination records. One of the men... Okay, like, come on. Come on, this is so nuts to see in practice. And here he's from Campsie, and he doesn't have his documentation, so he's being sent home. He may lose a chunk of his pay too if officers follow through with a fine. What a fine for... God, God damn, man. Like, how is this... Like, they're gonna... They're arresting people, and they're fining people. Tiffany Genders... Nine news for breaking news. Turn to Peter Overton. Nine <sighs> These people are fucking awful. Elvo, let that shit bang.